So I got an email from Chipotle and it said that I had online exclusive access to a braised beef barbacoa quesadilla. Well, I've never done a video on Chipotle, so I thought, that sounds like a good lunch to me. Hey, welcome back to Freak Eats. I'm your host, Brian Brickman, and that's right, baby, Chipotle! I've never been, I've never, I've never done a video on Chipotle in all the years I've been doing this show, and I don't know why. I really don't have a good reason other than, um, I don't know. I do love Chipotle, and actually, here's a funny, here's a funny story. Real quick, real quick, before I get to food. I worked for a construction company when I was younger, and we built one of the very first Chipotles, and it was, I think it was in Hearst. It was in the HEB area. It was one of the first ones in DFW. It was when McDonald's was still involved, as a matter of fact. I thought it was the worst idea ever. I was like, what? Nobody wants these big, giant burritos. <laughs> um, my bad. Apparently... Uh, Chipotle was a really good business idea and I'm just not good at judging businesses. I will say after I had my first Chipotle burrito, I changed my mind. But my initial reaction was, that's stupid. Okay, so to the food. Now, if you haven't had Chipotle's guacamole, this is some of the best guacamole on the planet, man. I am telling you, you get the guac and chips, and they give you a whole bag full of chips. You get it in here and you dip your chip in it like this. Oh, mm. it's so good. It's so avocado -y and guacamole. I don't know. You know? Guacamole is one of the few Mexican words that I know. Or Spanish words. I don't know. Whatever. You know what I'm saying. God, that guac is so good, man. It's so good. And it's a simple guac. It's not full of a bunch of weird ingredients. It's just good, solid and good, and it's always good. Okay, to the braised beef, barbacoa quesadilla. Now it says this is a cheese and a flour tortilla, and you can choose your choice of meat, um, sofritas, I don't know what that is, or fajita veggies, and you get three sides. Now I have something about the sides too. All right, let's check it out. You ready? Oh, look at this. You take the lid off. And your sides have a separate lid. Oh, what a genius idea. It keeps them together. Look at that bad boy. Oh, I can't tip it because I got I got salsa in there. Check it out. Check it out. Look at that. Let's check this quesadilla out first. Look at that thing. Oh, Jack, full of meat. Look at all the meat in there. Oh, look at this. Okay, so I got mine with barbacoa, fajita veggies, and cheese. Because uh, it's simple, right? All right, let's take, let's take a bite. Mmm. Mmm. Mm. Oh, that barbacoa. That braised beef. Mmm. Oh, it tastes like slow roast. You know that stringy roast your mom or grandma used to make? Mmm. Dang, that's good. That's a oh, spice to it, too. I've never had a Chipotle quesadilla, and I am, uh... I am completely sold on this idea. This is excellent. Now, what I want to show you is what they call dragon sauce. I was like, what? Dragon sauce? It said you take some of your your uh, tomato red chili sauce right here, and you mix it with sour cream, okay? So we're going to take a little bit out here. It's kind of hard to show you. And we're going to mix it up. And this is what they call dragon sauce. I'm going to put a little more in there because, you know, I like lots of them. And I got rice, too, because I don't know. I don't know what else to get. Okay. So now, we're going to dip this in the dragon sauce. Mm. Mm. If there was a way to make it better, that does it right there. That is a winning formula. Sour cream mixed with the red tomato. What is it? What? Tomato red chili sauce. I don't know what it's called. Mm. You know, I had to get the guac because there's not much better than guacamole on a quesadilla. Let's check this out. Mm. And I love quesadillas. I give this two thumbs up. You did good, Chipotle. You did really good. Hey, they always have fresh food. They always have fresh stuff. Um, there's a line out the door. This one I just went to right here in McKinney, Texas. It's got a drive-thru, so you just do your mobile order, 
and uh, and it tells you when it's complete. You hit the drive through and they just give it to you. Leave one of those in Frisco, by the way. The one in Frisco, you, there's never any parking spots, and there's a line around the building to get into the thing. Maybe that's why I've never done a video. The one in Frisco is just too busy. That's what it is. Well, hey, I'm going to finish my lunch. Thank you so much for watching this video. Thank you so much for watching all the way to the end. I appreciate you, and I appreciate all those likes, comments, and subscribes. Hit that next video if you want to watch the next one. And until next time, keep trying whatever Chipotle sends you emails about, because this is awesome. And we'll see you.